Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More Ask Golf Guru Q&A from the Q&A channel. Peter is asking a question about slicing. Lots of people ask about slicing. Let's give him an answer, see if it helps you as well. Let's get stuck in. Okay, question here from Peter. My natural swing is into out. So into out. Can you still slice a ball from that position with an open face? Or is it that my swing isn't consistent and I occasionally swing outside the ball? Uh, cheers, Peter from Melbourne. Let's get stuck in. Thanks from Australia there. Good stuff, Peter. Um, right, let's get my head around your question. So you swing into out. So anyone that's swinging this way on a 2D camera, if you like, swinging that way. Doesn't have to be that way, as in it might look straight on a camera, but the path is moving out that way. The club is moving that way as it hits the ball. He's saying. He does, I don't know if he's measured that. He, that's what he feels, or he knows. Or we don't. Let's say he knows. Um, if your club face is open to a path, so forget drop into out and out to in just for now. Just let's call path A. So a path. Path could be there, there could be there, could be. It's a path. If your face is open to a path. So the path could be there. We don't know where the target is, so that's not into it or anything, because I'm not putting the target. The path is that way, and the face is open to that way. Then if you have a centered strike and it's lying correctly, then you will get left to right curvature through the air. The spin axis of the ball will be tilted this way as the ball spins backwards, and that'll make it push off to the right, curve in the air off to the right. You could swing that way with the face open to the path, there's no target, the target might be over there, so that could be a straight path, it could be over there, so that, forget that. If the face is open to the path, a path, and the centered strike and the club's lying correctly and the ball works, you'll get left to right curvature in the air. So yes, you can slice from any path. If you then go and spin in a target, so there's a fixed target and I do those same equations, it's still cutting, it's still moving left to right in the air. It might not finish in the same place relevant to the target, but it's still got curvature spin axis to the right, cut, spin. Um, another thing you could do, you could hit from inside to out and neck it and experience something called gear effect where the ball moves on the face towards the CG, so the CG of the ball moves towards the CG of the face and that also tilts the spin axis again. Heel, as a general rule, not always, but as a general rule, will tilt the spin axis to the right. You could be doing any path and that'll happen. If you hit it too much out the heel, you can get closure of the face and you get snap hooks as well. So you can get any swings. It's the face to the path, guys, is what we've got to get clear in your head, really, I think, which is kind of, as soon as you get people to understand that, their understanding of what they're doing just kind of rockets forward like years. Fortunately, lots of people are still stuck way behind in into outs and out to wins and, oh, let's not go there. Um, so you've got gear effect strike and then you've got face open to a path. There is your answer. So really you can slice from any place. I would, it sounds a little bit like strike to me from what you're saying, but I would go and get a lesson and see what you are doing, measure it. Then you don't need, there's no question there. Just get it measured and you'll know what you're doing. My experience when teaching with the launch monitors is lots of people will hit a 30 yards dispersion. So they'll cut one that starts kind of right at the target and goes further off. And then they'll start one at the target and it might spin off to the left or they'll start it left the target and it just tails off the left, whatever. Like a 30 yards dispersion. And often they'll say, oh, see, I'm so inconsistent. I just such different swings, two swings there and they've gone miles. The numbers often at impact are almost identical, if not identical, but the strike is very different, making the face move and the ball move on the face and spin, tilting the spin axis and the starting direction through very poor striking but they're not relating it to striking they're thinking they're doing just like, like they're thinking they're doing one swing which is kind of here and then the next swing was over there i'm just so inconsistent it's often and i'm talking like 99 percent of the time it's not that it's strike is so important look get some face tape on your club do something with mark the ball so it leaves a mark on your face driver whatever you're hitting hit some shots and see how consistent your strike is if your strike isn't hitting a consistent spot on that face you're going to get a variation of strikes, uh, sorry, a variation of shots, starting direction, spins through the air, distances, then it's almost, it's not irrelevant because your club path and face path might be encouraging those poor strikes, but it, it makes the club delivery less important if you can't center that strike. Centerness of strike is so important in this game. And the amount of people I teach who don't know the difference between 
a centre strike to a toe to a heel to a low or high is amazing. You know, and it makes me wonder how they're ever going to get better if they can't claim. So we actually educate them in hitting a few shots and trying to get them to, I like, get them to call where they've hit it, and they start learning the patterns of the feels. Get on a launch monitor, get your face marked, and see what your strikes like, and then try and relate it back to this face to path. I've done lots of videos. There's lots of great videos out on the internet talking about face to path and things like that. Look at a few of those. Get your head around it. I think this question will make more sense if you understand some of those things. Not the clearest of answers, but I hope that gives you, gives you some direction in where to look for more answers. I've got plenty of them out there. Um, it just takes a lot longer than this video. Uh, post comments down below. Thanks for asking the question. Hopefully that starts your journey onto understanding a little bit more about what you're doing. Speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.